Okay, in this video, I want to discuss with you guys, I think, the most annoying and also most confusing notation in mathematics with you guys. And let me just demonstrate, and at the end of the video, be sure you guys let me know what you guys think. So, let me write this down right here for you guys. Let me just pick a number, let's say we have a number 3, and let me just put a negative 1 right here. And as we all know, this means the negative 1 power, and this is just 1 over 3 to the first power, and we can work that out. That's just 1 over 3. In fact, I talked about the negative exponents in the past, so you guys can check that out. No big deal. And if you have, let's say, 3 to the negative 2, of course, it's the same thing. But you have 1 over 3 and another 2 right here instead. And of course, you can also work this out, you get 1 over 9. So, this 2 right here, very easy. So I give, it, you know, I give them happy face. But if you're talking about functions, and if you have the negative 1 somewhere, yeah, it's bizarre, huh? Then let me just use one of the trig functions as example. Let me pick tangent for it. And suppose I have the negative 1 right here, and let's say the input is x. Well, this right here, it means what we call the inverse tangent. And it's the same thing for if you have sine with a negative 1, and cosine with a negative 1, etc. They all mean the inverse trig functions. And this right here, let me just tell you, it doesn't mean you have 1 over tangent x. Again, even though you see a negative 1 right here, you have the tangent with a negative 1 right here, but this does not mean you do 1 over tangent x. And I know a lot of people, they just don't like this notation, and a lot of you guys would like to just write this as the arc tangent of x instead. So, no problem, okay? But a lot of textbooks, and I think it's just a tradition, I would say, we use this, so just deal with this, no big deal. And don't forget what inverse mean. So this right here, for example, if you have theta equals the inverse tangent of x, then what you get is, if you apply the regular tangent on both sides, this means tangent of theta. And notice this right here, it's a regular tangent, and this right here will give you x. So this is what the inverse tangent mean. Same thing for the inverse sine, inverse cosine, etc. No problem at all. And if you really want to say this, 1 over tangent x, then what you have to do is, you have to use a blue pen. So I'll just put down a note right here for you guys. You really have to write this yes, tangent x, and you put a parenthesis with a negative 1 on the outside. Then this right here, it will be similar to this, which is the same as saying 1 over tangent x. This is okay. And of course, as you guys know, this right here is just equal tangent. So that's okay. Huh. So, yeah, not bad, not bad. But I will just tell you guys one little thing before we continue. I will just tell you guys, let me just put this down. I used to tell my students, never, never ever write tangent with like x squared like this, or tangent x negative 1 like this without using parentheses. These two notations, they will really cause serious confusions. So, never, never. If you want to say tangent square x, this means you have tangent x times tangent x. That's okay. And if you have tangent x square and you should have a parenthesis like this, this means tangent of x times x, then that's okay. So seriously, don't ever write this down without the parentheses. This is okay. Uh, this is okay. Never this, right? And on the other day, in fact, I was just talking to my students, and uh, they asked me, what if I just do uh, this on Wolfram Alpha? Because it seems like this right here and that right here, they cause some confusion, right? So. The question is, what if you decide to enter 10 for tangent, of course, and then you put the power key right here, I call this the power key, and you put negative 1 right here and put the parentheses x. What do you think what this means on Wolfram Alpha or on GeoGebra? In fact, I was telling my students, never write this on those kind of things. You should always use like arctangent or just go ahead and do 1 over whatever, or maybe use parentheses like this, right? And the truth is, this right here actually works if you enter this as how it is right here. Let me tell you on Wolfram Alpha or GeoGebra, this means the 
inverse tangent, namely arc tangent. Uh, I think it's pretty fair, right? Now, the real question is, what if you decide to enter 10 and then the power key and you put a negative 2 right here and then parenthesis x? <sighs> I know this caused a lot of confusion. And in fact, I did not expect this as well. So, review all the power and also those notation, the negative. Uh, what do you guys think what this means? I'll tell you, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, this right here, it apparently, once you put negative 2 right here, or negative 3, or negative whatever, you actually don't have the inverse tangent anymore. This right here means you do parentheses tangent x to the negative 2. Of course, this means 1 over tangent square x, like this. You don't have the inverse tangent anymore. This doesn't mean you look at inverse tangent of x and then you square. No, it doesn't. It doesn't mean like this. On Wolf on Alpha, which is algebra, you guys can see the screenshots right here. Now, if you enter this right here, it means that you don't have the inverse tangent anymore. So, I think this is just like, oh my god, this is like such a big confusion because like when you have the negative one right here, it means the inverse, and then when you have negative two, it's not this anymore, and then you have that. You don't have the inverse tangent anymore. Well, I don't know uh, what to say besides just tell you guys, okay, well, apparently they have defined this already on those programs, uh, so we just have to deal with that, right? And I, of course, I'll tell my students, never <laughs> write this down still. Try to do this kind of things, be clear. Use parentheses, that would be the best. So, once again, when you have the negative power notation, for numbers, they are easy, but once you get to functions, well, it may be confusing sometimes. And if you also dislike this notation right here, or this notation right here, just leave a comment down below, let me know, just do a vote. I want to see how many of you guys also dislike this right here. But be sure, you don't dislike the video. Like the video, and then just write down, you dislike this notation, alright? Okay, hopefully, we understand each other, alright? And I'll see you guys next time. And as always, that's it. don't have the inverse tension anymore.